Hi, I'm John from Chatomize, and in this video, I will show you what ManyChat keywords are, how we can use them, and the best practices for marketing and customer support in 2023. Let's dive in. So, what are ManyChat keywords? With ManyChat keywords, we can automatically reply when somebody messages us a specific word or a specific phrase, and they can trigger one of your ManyChat flows. So in general, we use keywords to drive users to one of our marketing or sales funnels or to automatically reply to questions one of your customers might have. So let's see how we can set these up inside ManyChat. So now I'm inside ManyChat and I can just click on new flow and I will just call this keyword and then click on create. And then here we can add a trigger, which will actually start our ManyChat flow. So I will click on it and then I will search for keyword. And you can see here that I have multiple channels. So I have Facebook keyword, WhatsApp keyword, Instagram keyword. And this is basically because I have connected my ManyChat account to all these channels. So you will see for each channel, you will see an option. And it's also good to know that each keyword is only attached to one channel. So if you want to have the same keyword for both Facebook and Instagram, you actually need to create two keywords, one Facebook keyword and one Instagram keyword. But for this tutorial, I will just go with the Instagram keyword feature, but it works the same for every channel. So I'm going to click on Instagram keyword, and then here we have multiple options. So we can start with the message is. And the message is basically means that it will trigger if a message is precisely matching this keyword. So for example, if I type in the message is high, uh, then it will only trigger for high. For example, if someone types in high, it won't trigger. If someone will type in high chatomize, it won't trigger. So only the message is high will only trigger for high. Then we have the message contains and the message contains checks whether a message contains high in this case. So this will trigger for high, it will trigger for high chatomize, but it will also trigger for high. And maybe this is not something that you want. So you need to think about all the possible things that this might trigger for. Then we have the message contains whole word. So in this case, it will trigger for high, it will trigger for high chatomize uh, because it contains the whole word high. And it will also trigger, uh, but it will not trigger, I'm sorry, but it will not trigger for high. So that's maybe a better option in this case. Well, then we have the message begins with so this will only trigger if a message begins with high. So this will trigger, for example, for high chatomize, but it won't trigger if someone types in chatomize high because the message doesn't start with high, but it starts with chatomize. Then we have another option, which is the thumbs up. It's really simple. If someone sends you a thumbs up, then you can automatically reply with a ManyChat flow. And the last one that we have is the message doesn't contain. And basically, I've never used this. It basically works the same as the message contains, but then the other way around, so it doesn't contain. But I've never used it, but just know that this feature exists. So what you can do is, for example, if you choose for message contains, then you can type in several words. So in this case, if we just want to send a general uh, reply, then you can, for example, we want to reply to hey, and we want to reply to hello, and we want to reply to howdy. So these are all the things that you can just type in. And in general, it doesn't really matter if you use capitalization. So it doesn't really matter if you use high or you use high, um, uh, lowercase or uppercase, it doesn't really matter. ManyChat will just look at the words. And also it's good to account for misspellings. So for example, if you say to people like, they am me ebook, then it's good to have like message contains ebook, but also message contains ebook. For example, if someone just uh, doesn't write the correct word, it will still trigger the ManyChat flow. So as an example, we can do if we have a Black Friday campaign coming up. And for the Black Friday campaign, I will just remove all of this 
and then we can say if a message contains a Black Friday then we want to reply but we also want to have some variations so for example uh, we want to have Black Friday together you want to have Black Friday for example if someone just forgot one letter uh, Black Friday with this so these are the account for misspellings that people might have but you still want to trigger these kinds of flows and if you're done with your keyword you can just click on create and now your keyword is created and what I really think is a really great feature is that you can toggle this keyword on and off so for example if we are running a Black Friday campaign we only want to run this campaign like one weekend a year and if someone messages you for a Black Friday campaign in February we actually don't want to reply with anything so what you can do is you can just toggle them on and off so now it's activated so it will reply with the flow but if I just toggle this then it's deactivated and then it won't reply with that flow anymore another thing that we can use with keywords are keyword conditions and this is actually a new feature that ManyChat has been rolling out lately and with this feature we can check on multiple words and multiple phrases and we can use several conditions so if we are in ManyChat then I will just remove all this and let's say we are a large retail brand and this retail brand has locations all over the world and people want to know what the opening times are of each and every location then we can check if someone says opening times and if someone says a specific location so here we can say if the message contains opening times we want to reply and if the message contains for example Amsterdam which is a specific location so if the message contains Amsterdam then we want to automatically reply with this flow so you can just click on save and then we can say something like this is Amsterdam and publish it so that is it for now and you can do this for each and every location so if the message contains opening times and New York we want to reply with the opening time for New York we can do the same for San Francisco Tokyo you name it but you also want to have one flow which just replies to opening times what if someone says what are the opening times then you want to reply with okay what store do you want to know the opening times about and this is where a keyword hierarchy comes into place so I will just start with creating a new flow and this will be opening times and we'll just call it general and then we'll add the trigger will be the Instagram keyword and we only want to reply if the message contains opening times and click on create and I will just call this uh, type in opening times general just so that I can publish it and then if we go to automation and go to keywords then I can just scroll down and then here we have the message contains opening times in Amsterdam and we have the message contains opening times and this is actually the setup that you want because ManyChat handles these keywords in a hierarchy they handle these keywords in a certain order and how ManyChat handles it currently is that it first checks if the message contains opening times and Amsterdam and if this is not the case then it will check if the message contains opening times if we would have this the other way around so if we would have this then if someone says what are the opening times of Amsterdam then ManyChat will look okay does this message contains opening times yes because you said opening times and Amsterdam but we only check now on opening times then people will never get to this flow so a keyword hierarchy if it comes down with customer support keyword hierarchy is really important so you first want to have these specific flows on top and then you want to have the general flows at the bottom and that's basically how you set up that keyword hierarchy which is extremely important with customer support and now that we know and understand how many chat keywords work the question is how can we use these keywords inside our overall many chat system when do we use what keyword and in general there are two purposes for using many chat keywords the one is for customer support 
So if someone asks us a question, we want to automatically reply to it. And the other one is for marketing and sales. So we want to drive users into our marketing and sales funnels. So let's start with customer support. If I'm using ManyChat keywords for customer support, I'm basically always using the message contains and sometimes the message contains with multiple keyword conditions. So for example, if I automatically want to reply, if someone asks me a question about my return policy, then I create a ManyChat keyword that checks whether the message contains return and the message contains policy. And if that's the case, then I want to reply with that. And then I also create another keyword that just checks on returns. So if the message contains returns, then I want to say something like, okay, what question do you have about returns? Is it about return policy, the return status, the return period, you name it. But that's basically what I use with customer support. And again, the keyword hierarchy is really important with customer support. So if you're using ManyChat for customer support, I recommend having a good keyword hierarchy. And also, if you want to create your own customer support system inside ManyChat, I have a new course that I just launched on my website where I will teach you how you can create your own customer support system and automatically reply to any questions you might get within your ManyChat system. In fact, one of my clients was manually answering 6,000 questions every month. And within the first month of implementing this system, we automatically replied to one third of all the questions that they got. So if you want to get the same results, please check out the link in the description. And if it comes down to marketing, we want to drive users to one of our marketing or sales funnels. And then I often use just a short word plus a number. So for example, you can use ebook one, or you can use checklist one. And in general, we say to the users like, okay, send us a word, a small word, and this is the thing that they are opting in for. So if they're opting in for an ebook, it's ebook one. If they're opting in for a checklist, it's checklist one. If they're opting in for a Black Friday campaign, it's Black Friday one. So that's the thing that they're opting in for or the thing that they try to achieve. So if someone wants to grow their leads, then it's grow one. If they want to gain more muscle, then we use gain one. If they want to get more sales, then we use sales one. But in general, we just use a short word plus a number. And that's it. That's how you can use keywords inside ManyChat. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and also subscribe to my channel. And as always, if you have any questions on how you can use ManyChat, please leave a comment below and I will reply as soon as possible.